You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, Internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. Most writers and radio show hosts know that to connect with your fans, you need to do more than just write books or record the latest podcasts. There are many different elements that go into forming an online platform, but there are also many hidden traps. To make matters worse, solid advice on how to survive the muddy waters is scarce. In the book Hidden Traps, I talk about some of the important issues of working with an online platform, highlighting traps that could put your physical or internet security at risk, or be harmful to your reputation. Are your social media posts just links with a few disjointed words making you look like someone who can't complete a sentence? Did your new website cost you more than you anticipated? Are you leaking your personal contact details across the web without even knowing it? Then you need Hidden Traps. Hidden Traps is now available in paperback and ebook from a variety of retailers, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Kobo. Visit blackwolfpublications.com for more details. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. 687. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq, Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Sometimes riders feel lost, unsure why a passage may not be working. 
takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing into full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, offering manuscript critiques and line edits through a mentoring editorial style. We also offer assistance on generating a writer's bio for your websites. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services, visit blackwolfeditorial.com. You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. My name is Jesse, and I'm proud of the life I have, surrounded by military and aware just how big the world really is. I have a unique perspective on life and the world around us. If you're willing to listen, I'll tell you how I see it, and I won't pull any punches. This is my POV, which stands for Point of View. It's Jesse. How y'all doing out there tonight? Yes, I miss you when we're not talking. Alrighty, alrighty. Yes, I'm here. Now, I almost wasn't. I ran a little late and there was some chaos. But I am here. Now, got a few announcements. Got some stuff going on. I am working on getting a couple of guests back. No, not Justin. He's not a guest anymore. He's a contributor. Yeah, I know. Isn't it amazing? Now... Now, I've got some things to tell you. The Winter Games are coming. I'm a fiend for those games with the five intertwined rings. I love them. Now, I'm not going to be covering it. However, comma... I am going to probably tie in a few of the side stories. There's oh, there's the main stories that happen that everybody knows about and everybody covers. But then there's all these little side things that you never see or hear about. I will be on the sniff for those. What do I mean by a side story? Well, what you might not know is these athletes love to congregate together. And they like to talk. Are they trading pins? Are they getting along? Are the North Korean athletes being kept away from other athletes? Things like that, I'll be sniffing around for information on. And then there's often this, these little dramas. Drama? Winter Games? Yeah. I guarantee you. Drama. Now, why do I say that? Well, you have many countries from around the world gathering. You have some people rather put off that 
they've been yanked off teams unexpectedly, put on teams unexpectedly, things like that. And... It's one of those things, it's guaranteed to be some conflict. Not everybody gets along with everybody else. And it's one of those things, there will be side stories, but those are the ones that are harder to find. So I will be on the lookout. Now obviously this means I will be trolling a lot of South Korean English speaking news agencies. Because well that's where the Olympics are. So your things are probably going to be just a little bit different than usual. Now I've got to forewarn you about one thing. I don't think this play nice nice North Korean gesture let's all march under one banner womp womp fail it ain't gonna last. Let's just be straight about it. It is not going to last. I don't know how else to describe it, how else to explain it. But it's not going to last. It is all for the propaganda machines, the publicity. Because no offense, he could have gone about this like every other participating country. And it, he wouldn't have had headlines. But because he wanted attention. He turned his country's, he turned the country of North Korea's participation in the games into a stunt. And it is a propaganda stunt. I have, uh, my own husband right now is stationed over in South Korea. And I can tell you that he has said that the locals are referring it to the Pyongyang Olympics in which is the capital of North Korea, my friends, who live under rocks, instead of the Pyeongchang Olympics. Moon's popularity has plummeted. Plummeted. And, of course... On the eve of the opening ceremonies, when the beautiful flame will be, will be lit, North Korea is set to hold a military parade to mark the 70th anniversary of its Armed Forces Foundation. It was only recently that North Korea changed it to February 8th. It had been April 25th. But it is now February 8th. So this is going to be an interesting dichotomy. It really will.
It's going to be a fascinating thing to watch. Now, just to give you an idea of what I mean by side things. The Winter Games' oldest athlete already has a title before everything even starts. He's 49. He's from Finland. And he's on the mixed double curling team. And that would make him the oldest athlete competing. Now, there is a reserve curler from Canada who's 51, but if he doesn't compete, Tommy Rantamiki is will be the is the oldest scheduled to compete. And he is 34 years older than the youngest, who is 15 and a half pipe skier from China. Now then you also have uh, a ski jumper who has been participating in the Winter Games since 1992. What can I say? So it looks like Finland's got some rather long-lived athletes who don't show any signs of slowing down. I do not intend to spend the next two weeks Totally pouncing all over North Korea. There's a lot of other things going on. However, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Root said exemptions to UN Security Council sanctions on North Korea would be possible if they help further the resolution's intended objective. And that meant permitting North Korean athletes in high-ranking villages to cross into South Korea for the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. The Netherlands currently chairs the UN Security, UN Security Council's North Korea Sanctions Committee. I'm not even going through the acronym. Uh uh. No way. I'm tongue tied enough. Now, do you remember yesterday I was trying to find some audio on the fly because POTUS met with some North Korean defectors? Well, I pulled a couple of select bits. It's a fantastic video. I urge you to go track it down. Hint. White House, YouTube. Because I don't have time to play all the audio from it. But it is well worth it. Well, here is a brief excerpt from one of the defectors. Escaping from North Korea is not like leaving another country. It's more like living another universe. I will never truly be free of its gravity, no matter how far I journey. Interesting theory. No matter how far she goes, she will never be truly free of North Korea. Here's a slightly longer episode. I believe this was a different speaker. First, I want to thank you for that you said the U.S. will act alone for North Korea if China does not help. That made me cry because that's what exactly what I wanted to hear for so long from like leaders like you. 
and I was presented a your speech at the South Korea's National Assembly last November, and I really wanted to shout with joy because I was so moved. You put the spotlight on North Korean human rights issues in front of the entire South Korean National Assembly and re re refreshed the attention on these kind of issues. So I cannot thank you enough. All right, so there was one other clip I had from that because I wasn't able to get it on the fly yesterday. They're incredible stories. We actually have uh, two other people outside, and they're literally afraid of execution. They didn't want to be with cameras, and I can understand that. They were very concerned with that, and we would certainly not want to force them to be here. So they're right outside, but they didn't want to be on camera for a lot of very bad reasons. Uh, I want to thank you. You were so incredible the other night. But, so even though they these people were here in the United States to meet with the President of the United States. They did not feel comfortable coming on camera. I think that says a lot. I think that speaks volumes. And I know they're probably not living here permanently. They are probably living in South Korea. Because there is a significant defector community. If you are a North Korean and you can escape and you get to South Korea, you are safe. China will send you back to North Korea. In fact, I don't have it pulled. But one of the defectors was talking about people carrying poisons with them in case they get caught because they don't want to go back. They would rather commit suicide than go back. And I think that speaks volumes. All right, folks. I thought those were just some interesting notes and highlights. I do have some other audio clips for the second half of the show. No, we're not quite done, but I just wanted to mention some of these things because I get so caught up in the big picture. How much land have we taken from Daesh? Now, while I'm on the game, the, the note of the Winter Games... High-level North Korean officials attending this month's games in South Korea say they are not willing to meet with U.S. envoys. Despite Vice President Pence saying he'd be ready to talk. And they say, quote, We have never begged for dialogue with the U.S., and it will be the same in the future. We clearly state that we don't have a willingness to meet with the United States side during our visit to South Korea. Now, Trump has always believed in talking, and Pence hasn't requested any meetings. He's just waiting to see how things play out. Oh, and for those of you wondering what government official was going to represent North Korea at the Winter Games, it will be Kim Jong-un's sister. Yes, Kim Jong-un's sister. So that could be fascinating. Now, of course, she will be one. She is one of the pampered pooches of Pyongyang. Okay. So. Oh, and the North Korean cheerleaders have reached the venues. Yes, remember, although they're sending about 20 athletes,
Hundreds of female North Korean cheerleaders arrived on Wednesday for a trip that will mark their first appearance in 13 years at an international sports event hosted by the South. 229 cheerleaders were among the 280-member delegation that came to the South via a western cross-border land route. The delegation was led by sports minister Kim Il-guk and it includes three other officials from the National Olympic Committee, 26 Taekwondo demonstrators, and 21 journalists. The female cheerleaders, who appear to be in their 20s, showed up at the inter-Korean border checkpoint in Paju, just south of the border, wearing red coats with a small North Korean flag on the left chest and black fur hats. Yes, they were all dressed identically. Now, there's already a 46-member delegation down there that includes... 22 athletes and a 140 member art troupe. And now we have another 280. Now, how many athletes did I state? 22. And we have how many other people? I'm sorry, I have never seen. Any such insanity. This is absolutely insane. Does any other country send a cheering squad with their athletes? Because I sure have never seen one. I'm serious. I never have. I have never seen another country send their own cheering squad. Now, of course, North Korea is a different universe. You can't just decide to leave the country. So I guess the only way there will be North Koreans in the stands to cheer people on is if the state hand picks them. Making certain, of course, that their brainwashing is intact. And allows them to go. But we have an art troupe, a taekwondo demonstration team, a cheering squad, and 22 athletes. Can everybody just focus on sport and get off the politics? Just two weeks, please. All right, folks. It is time to pay those radio station bills. Yes, that means I will see you on the other side. You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. 
Most writers and radio show hosts know that to connect with your fans, you need to do more than just write books or record the latest podcasts. There are many different elements that go into forming an online platform, but there are also many hidden traps. To make matters worse, solid advice on how to survive the muddy waters is scarce. In the book Hidden Traps, I talk about some of the important issues of working with an online platform, highlighting traps that could put your physical or internet security at risk or be harmful to your reputation. Are your social media posts just links with a few disjointed words making you look like someone who can't complete a sentence? Did your new website cost you more than you anticipated? Are you leaking your personal contact details across the web without even knowing it? Then you need Hidden Traps. Hidden Traps is now available in paperback and ebook from a variety of retailers, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Kobo. Visit blackwolfpublications.com for more details. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq, Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Sometimes writers feel lost, unsure why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing into full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, offering manuscript critiques and line edits through a mentoring editorial style. We also offer assistance on generating a writer's bio for your websites. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services, visit blackwolfeditorial.com. All right, 
Thank you for hanging in there with me while we paid those radio station bills. Now, today has been an interesting day. Oh, yeah. It's been an interesting day on Capitol Hill. Just because I don't cover it. Just because I don't cover it doesn't mean I don't keep my ear to the ground. So, I have a couple of clips from none other than Secretary of Defense Mattis. At, these were taken from congressional testimony and a press briefing he did today. Combination of the two. And I thought the answers were incredible. And I have a feeling you're going to hear this next one pop up routinely. Remember, deterrence is dynamic. It changes from year to year, from decade to decade. We have to address deterrence in its current construct. So we do this. The idea is to raise the threshold. Don't even think about lowering the threshold to a conventional fight and escalating it to one small yield nuclear weapon strategically changing the game and then think our choice is either surrender or suicide as Dr. Kissinger put it. And I thought that's a really great analysis. Deterrence. The same thing that deterred Cold World Cold War Soviet Union is not the same thing that may deter North Korea even though they both have a Cold World mindset. And I thought that was pretty fascinating. A little peek of insight into his mind. Now, he doesn't sit still. He is currently been testifying up on Capitol Hill, but in three days from now, he's going down to a very, a one-of-a-kind unit. I'll let him tell you a little bit about it. Up front, I need to note three days. Up, oh, yeah. Up front, I need to note three days from now, I will visit our nation's first security force assistance brigade in Fort Benning, Georgia, as they prepare to deploy to Afghanistan. To advance the security of our nation, these troops are putting themselves in harm's way, in effect signing a blank check payable to the American people with their lives. And... That wasn't to the media. That was at a hearing. And I gotta love it. Now, the Assistance Brigade is something, it's a unit that's being specifically equipped and outfitted to go assist. It's not special forces, but to go train and assist foreign militaries. So it's not going to be the 82nd on the ground. It'll be an Assistance Brigade. They may have extra translators. I don't know what the exact makeup is. I've been looking for that information this morning. But I have a feeling it's going to be an interesting th- interesting to watch play out. Now, he was asked about, and this, this is a news, news briefing clip. He was asked about the diplomatic, what's going on with North Korea. I love it. As far as uh, the situation with Korea, uh, it is firmly in the diplomatic lane. Uh, We have seen much stronger diplomatic action. For example, the last three uh, United Nations Security Council resolutions, unanimous. And how often do you see France and Russia, PRC, uh, China, and the United States, Great Britain, all voting, and other countries, all voting unanimously. I think that makes it very clear this is firmly in the diplomatic lane. And we, of course, back up uh, Secretary of State Tillerson's foreign policy efforts uh, as guided by the president with uh, viable military options. But thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, viable military options. Now, he, of course, used his famous line about if they attack us, it'll be their darkest day. During last week's State of the Union address, President Trump said weakness is the surest path to conflict. 
to those who might suggest that we should accept a year-long continuing resolution, it would mean a return to a disastrous sequestration level of funding for the military. And in a world of wash and change and increasing threats, there is no room for complacency. History makes clear that no country has a preordained right to victory on the battlefield. Framed within President Trump's national security... Well, the rest of it get, goes a little long, but I could play the whole thing for you and just have a blast talking about it. He did a great job. And this was the Nuclear Posture Review. Now, I've got a couple other clips from this as well. Nations as different as China and Russia have chosen to be strategic competitors. They seek to create a world consistent with their authoritarian models and pursue veto power over other nations' economic, diplomatic, and security decisions. Rogue regimes like North Korea and Iran persist in taking outlaw actions that undermine and threaten regional and global stability. And despite our successes to date against ISIS physical caliphate, violent extremist organizations continue to sow hatred, incite violence, and murder innocents. Across the globe, democracies are taking notice. And one of the reasons I love and could sit listening, listen to Mattis all day he leaves the sugar coating for the cookies in the in the chow hall. The icing and the sugar coating sugar coating is on the cookies and the cakes in the bakery. He tells you exactly what's going on. He doesn't mince words. He doesn't beat around the bush. And it makes him fascinating. And in a way, he is paired and I normally don't get anywhere near U.S. politics, but I'm going to allow myself just this one brief interlude. So you have a Secretary of Defense who is a Marine, who is teamed up with a President who is never a politician but a businessman before now, and neither one of them sugarcoats much of anything. And I think it's making for a rather interesting uh, splash in the halls of power in D.C. Now, Mattis has been around there for many years because, as a general, you are doing briefings. Okay, he was a four-star general. He was doing briefings. He was meet on the Hill, securing funding, doing this, doing that. So, he is no stranger to sitting at that table answering questions from members of Congress. And I have a feeling... Mattis wouldn't know how to sugarcoat anything. All right, I think I've got one more. Might have been through them all. Might have been through them all. Let's try this one. We recognize great power competition is once again a reality. We will continue to prosecute the campaign against terrorism by, with, and through our allies. But in our new defense strategy, great power competition, not terrorism, is now the primary focus of U.S. national security. Yes, so our whole national security focus is on power competition versus terrorism. I think that's an interesting shift. Like I said, it's very nuanced. I'm gonna I have not had time to read the unclassified version. It was just put somewhere where I could access it today. It's a couple hundred pages. And I've been busy. So I have not had a chance to read it. It I will read it and maybe even grab Justin and go over it with him and see what we can do. I'm trying to get him back on the show. I'm trying. All right. Couple more interesting notes.
Yes, it is. I am almost out of time, and I am finally letting you hear the show prep. It's been here the whole time. I just didn't think of doing it. So, as always, I am. Ho I first want to tell you what I hope happens in Pyeongchang. I hope that the world is willing to get together and cheer for each other, compete against each other on the friendly, in the friendly field of sports where there are no bullets flying. And maybe everybody, just for a few weeks, can forget who their enemies are. And for once, just try being friends just for a few days. I know it's not a long-term solution. All I'm asking is athletes of the world... Give your fellow athletes a serious competition. You know what? Shake their hand when it's done. There is nothing wrong with a good hard-fought competition. Absolutely nothing. And I see absolutely nothing with it. Nothing wrong with it. And I, I really want the world to just take a deep breath. We have been in a world where we have watched countries being ripped apart. We are in a world where allies and former allies can't necessarily trust each other and aren't necessarily on the same page. We are facing a world where our government and yes, brief foray, can't even keep the lights on because the Congress refused to shut up, get together, and play ball and come to a few agreements. I don't care what side of the aisle you're on. It's called compromise. Use the dictionary. I'm sure you have one. I want to see the world over the next two weeks take a big collective sigh of relief. And I'd like to see every nation take a few steps back and relax. So I have a couple of unique Olympic, well, not necessarily unique, but Olympic trivia facts for you. And I didn't plan on doing this. It just came to mind while I was on air. All right. The rings, it's made up, the, the flag for the Olympic Games is made up of five interlocking rings. The colors of the rings, which were very specifically chosen, are blue, yellow, black, green, and wet, red on a white field. And the rings are intended to represent the five participating continents, Africa, Asia, America, Oceania, and Europe. And the colors of the rings, together with the white field, include the colors composing every competing nation's flag at the time. At least one color. One of those colors appears in, all, in every flag of the world. If you can find me a flag from a country that doesn't have red, green, black, yellow, or blue in it, or white, 
What did they do with their flag? Really? And this flag was created back in 1914. And it's just a very beautiful symbol. It's a symbol of, in my mind, of hope. So, it's something I'm going to try and bring you some little tiny bit of trivia at least once a week unless I have a whole bunch of guests on. But I'm going to try and bring you some little piece of trivia or some little bit of news. It won't be a big breakdown. I don't cover sports. Let's get that right out there right now. I don't cover sports. But some little trivia. So that you have a deeper appreciation for the spirit in which these games were intended to take place. Because everybody gets wrapped up in the medal count. I'll give you one more bit and then I think I'm going to close out. The official motto is faster, higher, stronger. But a, a more informal, well-known model that was introduced by Pierre Coubertin, the most important thing is not to win, but to take part. In other words, come together and compete. Put aside your differences. And I think it's pretty interesting. I really do. I think it's, I would like to see more of it. But it's one of those things I know the whole world will not. But I'm going to encourage you to at least every day take a break, take a breath and find something just like I'm going to do that isn't Daesha ISIS North Korea Russia, politics from anywhere in the world. But find that good news story. So, find that good news story. Find something different to make you smile every day. Hopefully I'll be able to play a role in that. All right, folks. I could bring up more news, but you know what? I'm going to end it here. Because Stafford is hot on my heels. I have the ability to do so. And... I don't want to throw a depressing story on top of everything else I've just talked about. I will do one more thing. I did not check one thing. I've got to check one more thing.
No, there are no casualty notices. I had not checked. Whole stack of other things. Whole stack of other things. But prayerfully, no casualty notices. So my friends, remember you can follow me on Twitter at Radio Host Jesse. You can shoot me an email at the station at Jesse's POV at KLRNRadio.com. And I will see you folks tomorrow night. I promise I'll be back to my normal format tomorrow. <laughs>